to Snake Pit. It's a cool show where people try to sell their ideas to investors. The snakes. Come on, snakes. The squirrel be gone is a great idea. Not if you're a squirrel. Are squirrels really that big of a deal? Oh, I hate rodents. I love it. Count me in. Wow, fantastic. Another lucky inventor is on his way to living the dream. I want to live the dream. Hey, are you the kind of kid who has a lot of crazy ideas? Yes. Then bring him down to Snake Pit Jr. Same great show, but with kids. We're coming to your town looking for the next great idea. Is it yours? Oh, it is. I've got a killer idea for Snake Pit. You guys don't stand a chance. <laughs> no way, man. The snakes are gonna love my Brain Gamer device. My idea is gonna blow them away. What do you got? Don't have one yet. So, on the show, the snakes always go for cool products that solve everyday problems. Oh, that's hot. And that's why I've invented the soup cooler. You simply clip this small fan onto the side of the bowl, and presto. In just seconds, the soup will... We'll be all over the room. Or I can just blow on it. How about a kitty carry-all? Um, how about no? Ready for an alarm clock that literally kicks you out of bed? What time did you set it for? I can't remember. Huh? Pass. What about a triple-sided ping-pong paddle? Oh! No worries. Plenty more ideas where that came from. Check it out. No warning nuggets. Regular pretzel nuggets, but in the mix are some really spicy ones. Mm. 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 Uh, water? Need, need water! <laughs> now, I've seen every episode of Snake Pit, and I'll tell you what the judges love as much as a good product, a good service. Okay, popular services. Mowing the lawn, babysitting, dog walking. I've got it! A blow-up-your- balloon service! I'm tired. <sighs> oh, I'm dizzy. This will never work. <laughs> Angelo, can you keep an eye on your brother for a few minutes? Right now? But, Mom, I'm busy coming up with ideas for Snake Pit. Oh, I love that show. You know, you should really talk to Peter. He has some great ideas. Have fun, and thanks, dear. Okay, how about this? Ah, that was already pitched in the second season. Ugh, ugh, so annoying. My mom makes me watch Peter all the time. Oh. But he's so sweet. I'd love to have a brother like Peter. Really? Well, you can have him for free. Anytime. Lolo, we'd have so much fun together. We could go to the park. Play video games. Watch Cuddle Farm. I could give him sisterly advice. And get ice cream and cupcakes. <laughs> Sounds perfect to me. Me too. You know, I bet a lot of people would love to have a brother like Peter. For a limited time, of course. It's perfect. Okay, people, we're the judges helping Snake Pit Jr. find contestants from our school. When I call your name, come up and tell us your business idea. First up is Schmitty. Schmitty? Okay, Brofoot, check it. My invention is like a plastic tube that you attach to the faucet and it carries water. You mean a hose? Oh, they already invented that? You're not even a student here. Technically, I never graduated. How about something soft to rest your head on at night? That thing is called a pillow. Next. Oh, dang it. That's one down. Minetti. And here we have the smack sack. Ooh, I like the art aspect of that. Yeah, I get mad when Butterfingers doesn't let me copy off them. That's the inspiration. Copy? That's cheating. For that reason, I'm out. Let me demonstrate. Oh, that's too violent. I don't like that. I'm out. Oh, no one understands my vision. Man. And that's two. Next up, Angelo. My idea is called hang out with my brother. You know, for those times when you want a brother, family, someone you trust. Hmm, not much of an inventory. Angelo, what if I want a sister? Um, not a problem. Hmm, not bad. So, I'm on the show, right? I'm convinced. Hey, guys! I got picked to be on Snake Pit Jr. So we're gonna be on TV! What do you mean, weird? I pitched them my idea where you and Peter spend time with other people and pretend you're their siblings. They're so weird. If I do well on the show, I could become a multi-mega super jackpot millionaire! Oh my god, sure. I'm out. I'll split the profits 50-50 and back in! 
When's the show? What about me? What do you want? I'll do it if you take the middle seat in the car from now on. What? Okay, middle seat for two weeks, okay? Three weeks, and I get to play with Gold Guy. Fine. And now it's time for the show you kids have been waiting for, Snake Pit Jr. Let's meet the snakes. World-renowned British performer, occasional activist, and one half of the band Slobber, Eddie Van Slobber. Hey, all right, yeah. And all the way from the Sugar Shack, successful sweet shop owner, Cupcake Kathy. Thank you, thank you very much. And skating guru with his own line of boards and an all-around cool dude, Ollie Van Dunk. What's going on? Yeah. Now for our first contestant, a warm welcome for Butterfingers. Say goodbye to messy hands when you're eating pizza. And say hello to pizza on a stick. No, carbs and sticks don't go together. For that reason, I'm out. It's just a slice of pizza on a stick. I'm out. All right, looks pretty tasty. Hmm. Ow! Oh! Out! I'm out! Ah! Oh, failure. My constant companion. Next up, a young entrepreneur with a tech design, Ethan. Snakes, I'm here to tell you about a revolutionary high-tech device that will change your life. This is something I like to call implant in the head. Wow, that sounds like a winner. Yeah, right. This small device will be implanted in your brain so you can experience a video game in your mind. No wires, no controllers. Hours will go by, and you'll accomplish nothing. Just game happiness. But what if you need an update? That would require surgery. Well, what happens when it needs to be charged? Another surgery. Slobber doesn't do hospitals. Slobber out. Oh, same here. Righteous, yeah. But I live in the real, not the virtual, so hey, for that reason, I'm out. Our next entrepreneur just might become the world's youngest gazillionaire. Let's welcome Angelo. Let's do this thing. Hello, snakes. Allow me to introduce you to today's best idea. Hang out with a sibling. Whoa, that that's sounds cool. right. I like that. Yeah. This is the first ever app that helps you hang with a sibling when you really need one and you don't have one. Allow me to demonstrate. You're home, you need another player. You need a sibling! Oh, let me tell you, man. I've been there. I'll be player number two! Or, you want to talk about some family secrets. You need a sibling! Ugh, my mom is driving me crazy! I hear you. Need some help folding. Aw, oh, that's genius. Everything is better with a sibling. Tennis, seesaws, pillow fights, chess, snack time, getting into PG-13 movies. I miss my sister. In fact, studies show that younger siblings rarely get punished as much as older ones. So, the next time you break a vase, just blame it on a younger brother that's not really your brother. Works every time. You know, I was an only child. So I ask you, snakes. Anyone want to invest in my idea? I want to invest in your business. Huh? Really? Whoa, so do I. Whoa, what about Cupcake Kathy's? I'm in it too. So, Angela, all the snakes are interested. Which one are you going to go with? Can I have a minute to discuss this with my partners? Ollie Van Dunk is the snake to go with. I like Slobber. <laughs> he has a funny name. What? That's a dumb reason. Don't call me dumb. I was thinking Cupcake Kathy. I can see this business really means something to her. That's a stupid reason. What is stupid about that? You're stupid. Don't call me stupid. <laughs> stupid. Dude, my sister and I used to bicker like that. Once she hit me with a fork, you can still see the scar, you see? Yeah, you know, my brother and I still fight. He always wants to be the front man, his way or the highway. Ah, oh, man, come to think of it, I couldn't last 20 minutes in a room with my siblings. Holidays? Forget it. You know, the only reason I'm even here is because my brother made me do it. Who needs more of that? I'm out. That's a terrible idea. Do I like that idea? I'm crazy. Dude, Ollie out. What? Angelo, the snakes are taking back their offers. Can they do that? They sure can. But it's okay. We've still got Cupcake Kathy. I'm starting to rethink this too, Angelo. Maybe family's not so great. No! Cupcake Kathy, wait! You can have a larger percentage of the company. Anything. What do you want? 100%. I'd like to buy you out completely. Done. 
So, I divided up the money from Kathy's investment between Elena, Peter, and myself, and then ended up investing my portion into Butterfinger's Pizza on a Stick business. Anyone want some pizza? Dude, what happened to Pizza on a Stick? I took the sticks out. So, what's it called now? Pizza. Hmm. Huh. Clever. <laughs> Sometimes, it's better to invest than invent. It's Friday afternoon. Two periods to go before the weekend. Uh, pull it together, Lola. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. You guys, go on without me. You're late for your Friday test. Get in here. The test won't take itself. Ah, uh, students are just so lazy. Uh, Hold up. Did he just call us lazy? You don't realize, Mr. Foot, Friday is like a death day for us. We have music in the morning. Lotte! Then at lunch, we have to fight for dessert. Hey! <laughs> Give me the cake. After lunch, we have like three hours of PE. <laughs> then we usually have to battle an alligator in the bathroom. We do? It's such a long day, I can't remember. You poor little things. You know what's really hard? Being a teacher. The mountains of papers to grade. Ah! The shouting yourself hoarse. If you don't... And the coffee in the teacher's lounge. Ugh. You wouldn't last a week as a student. Ooh. Ha! You wouldn't last a day as a teacher. Was that the wrong time? Oh, really? You want to bet? Let's call this a learning experience. We'll trade places for a day. You'll be the teacher, I'll be the student. The first one to crack fails. Okay, but if you lose, Friday tests are canceled for the rest of the year. Fine, but if I win, the test is still on and you get twice as much homework over the weekend. Wait, if we're friends with the teacher, does that make us teacher's pets? Yep. No one wants to be the teacher's pet. Uh, pretend you don't know us. Just for the day. Who are you again? <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Please don't let him come towards us. Please don't let him come. Lola Sherwood, my fellow students, up top. Uh, hello, Mr. Foot. Oh, please, call me Owen. I'm a student today. Uh, okay, Owen. Say hi to Owen, Lola. Oh, who's this? Oh, cool guy. Oh, excuse me? Teacher coming through over here. Coolest teacher I've ever seen. Hey! <laughs> If you're gonna be a teacher, always make a good first impression. Sup, man? My man, Professor Angelo. What are we doing in the vault? It's strictly forbidden to students. Not anymore, kid. I want to foster trust between teachers and students. Which is why I'm letting you have all your stuff back. The stuff the previous teacher confiscated. <laughs> My beloved cookie. You waited for me. Ooh, I see you have hair now. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yeah, I'm a teacher now. Teachers know stuff. Duh, Angelo, you're the best teacher ever. Hear that? Now that I'm the best teacher ever, the rest of the day will be a breeze. Teaching is a snap. Have a seat, everyone. In nature. No more stuffy classrooms for us. Ridiculous. It's biology time. We're going to study living beings. These video game consoles are living beings? Like dolphins? Uh, no, Butterfingers. It's a game where you play as bacteria and have to avoid being eaten by other microbes. For instance, I just got ingested by a brain-eating amoeba. You have one hour to complete level one. This is so cool. Looks like I'm gonna level up in biology. Ha. <laughs> Best way to teach, let technology do all the work for you. Now, oh, would you look at the teacher's pets loving the teacher's class? Hmm. Yo, man, I'm not a teacher's pet. Me neither. Why are you putting those down? Wait, wh where's everyone going? Come 
on, people. I was teaching with technology. It's the future. <sighs> but that was the coolest class in the world. Well, that may be so, but Mr. Foot's right. No one wants to be the teacher's pet. Who came up with that stupid rule? Oh, let me guess. I did. <laughs> yep! <laughs> Since trying to be a good teacher didn't work, I'm gonna make Mr. Foot the student snap. Teachers don't realize how much information we students have to take in every day. Math, geography, the lunch menu. Most of the time, it's just too much. Here's today's math lessons, Angelo. I mean, Professor Angelo. How to calculate the surface of a sausage with quantum physics? <sighs> My brain hurts already. Good. It's time to hurt Mr. Foot's brain. Hypothesis one. If the sausage is cooked, its subatomic matter shrinks by half. Any questions? you will crack in three, two, one? Excuse me, teacher. A very interesting class, but it seems a bit simplistic. <gasps> hmm. You're simplistic. I would have added mustard on the sausage to spice things up, as it were. Actually, that's what I'll do. I'm going to use this exercise in the curriculum. Thank you, Angelo. Minetti, it's plastic. What? It's still a sausage. Oh. I think this qualifies as an epic fail. What are you gonna do now? Foot is about to get a full dosage of being a student. Hold up. What's with all the classes you've added? <laughs> ah, he's gonna suffer. Wait, that means we're gonna suffer too. Hey, gimme! Uh, <laughs> okay! Animals! What the, what is... He took my apple. Sorry, Footsie. Hear the bell? Schmitty's close. But lunch was only five minutes. Now, oh, ridiculous. Happy to help, buddy. This is too hard. Oh, I'm not 11 years old anymore. <laughs> Judging from your moaning, you sound four years old. Man up. Maddie! Ah, ah, hey, enough with the spitballs already. Come on. I can't. Professor Angelo's orders. Oh, thank you so much for intervening. Finally, this ordeal is at an end. <laughs> no, it's just starting. Professor Angelo changed schedule. You got another two hours of gym class. Oh. All right, now make sure you capture all the colors and the flavors. Oh, finally, right. something to eat. Hey, that is not food. It is art. Oh, please, you don't understand. I haven't had anything. But we already had gym class for two hours earlier. We're not training for the Olympics, are we? And Zonka isn't even here. Get used to it. It's always like this. Oh. Angelo's gonna miss foot snap. Where's he at? He's probably lounging in the teacher's lounge. Lounging. This blows. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Time for a pop quiz. Oh, oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, man. Now pop Mr. Quiz. Foot's gonna snap in three, two, one. <laughs> what? A whoopee cushion? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the beginning. He learns so fast. I'm a proud papa. You want war? You're getting war. You're suspended. Detention. Right now. Whoa. Hmm. Fine. Whatevs. Right, Professor Angelo is the best teacher in the universe 10,000 times! Hmm, that'll teach the teacher. <laughs> is that Mr. Foot? Affirmative. <sighs> he laughs just like that before every pop quiz. Crawling in the air ducts? That's my thing! <laughs> he won't get me to snap first. He won't. Hey, buddy. Back to detention, right now! <laughs> no way, Jose. I'm like a rebel, dude. Huh. Angelo, he ain't no hero. Angelo is a big fast hero. He is the worst teacher ever. Gonna be a good Angelo, teacher ever. you're supposed to keep your students in check. Duh, I can't even hear myself napping. It's under control. <laughs> he snapped, but he hasn't given in. There's no way I'm losing this bet. Activating backup plan. Footsie, is that you? M mother? Yep, I told your mom. 
that you've been getting in a lot of trouble at school. Little scalawag. Yes, you mother. No, son. mother. After all I've done for you. But mother, it's not my fault. The teachers are mean. I had six hours of gym. I couldn't eat lunch. So, are you giving up? <sighs> all right, Angelo. You win. That voice modifying app worked like a charm, sure. What? That's G. Oh, never mind. You were right, Angelo. Being a student is the worst. And? And the Friday afternoon tests are canceled. Ha ha! Ha! Yeah! Phew! I can finally be a normal student again. Not so fast, Angelo. You need to grade our papers. Stat! Yeah, man. We work so hard. Now, it's time for you to sweat. All right, all right. I'll admit it. Being a teacher isn't easy. What did you say? Do you mind? I'm having a private conversation here with millions of viewers. You liked this episode. It's the best Angelo rules ever. für die Insel? Besuche Oscar und seine Freunde auf Summer Camp Island. Jetzt gleich!